this world? I mean, was just yesterday you kind of telling these guys? And yeah, I mean, it was one I'll probably never forget. I'm about to leave for the showcase with Maine. We had played the night before, and we got guys who were trying to prepare because, you know, there was money on the line because we made it. We were second seed. We had a really good team. We had a really good team to win it, and uh, literally an hour before we're going to the airport, uh, my agent texts me. I was playing Madden. But so, so I'm like not paying attention to my phone. And I look at my phone, he texts me like, yo, don't go nowhere. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then told me I was coming to Dallas and then uh, the rest is history. It was, it's a blessing, it really is a blessing. You, you said you're going home. You want to go home after this, but I mean, I assume that's a hotel. Like, how do you yeah, that's the hotel. I just think about the, the bed. Yeah. I'm just going to lay down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lay down. How do you how do you pack for ten or twenty days like that? Not, not the crazy days. thing is, which is it's crazy how God works things out. I packed a lot anyway because I was going I was going to um, the Vegas the showcase, and we had a break after. So, and then we had a road trip after that. So I had to pack a lot anyway. So then I was already packed up. I'm like, I guess the Lord knew I was going somewhere, but it just wasn't going to be Vegas. And I'm not glad I missed Vegas either. So um, it was it's crazy how everything worked out. When did you actually land in Dallas? And, and you know, what does prep look like when there's not a shoot yeah. around in practice? So uh, I met him in Minnesota, and then I flew in with him. Okay. Uh, and, um, the other day, but then I uh, literally, there wasn't many conversations. Uh, yesterday came in, worked out, said hello to everybody, went home, came came back this uh, this morning, got some shots up. We had um, we had uh, we came in for film early, had a little walkthrough, went out there and played basketball. <laughs> All right, anything else? Did you, did you expect you would get this much playing time? I knew I was going to get some looks. I didn't know I was going to get that much playing time, uh, but I was ready. Um, like I said, I gave a testament to um, back at UNC. Just going, well, we had all types of pros come back in the summer where you just had to figure it out and play basketball. There, there's no set plays. like. They were calling stuff. I had no idea what it was. I'm just reading my teammates. Like, I, I, I've, I have a pretty good IQ. I'm not trying to brag on myself, but I have a pretty good IQ. I just, I can read stuff pretty quickly and just play off that. I mean, every most action is a fluff at first, and then you, what do you do? You get to a pick and roll, and then you just move off that. So I, I was just reading off my teammates. They trusted me, and I got, that's a testament to those guys and the coaching staff. And they told me to just go out there and let it rip, go play basketball. They, they knew what I could do, so I'm glad they gave me the opportunity. I'm glad I'm here.